Hello and welcome to another macro video. Today we've got one macro, Compare Now. And the idea of that is that Word itself has a way of comparing two files, which you may be aware of. Uh, so it's on the Review tab and there's Compare there. So you can compare two files. You select one from uh, a menu there. You select the other from another menu. And then you can set up various options as to the level at which you do comparisons. And we'll look at that in a minute. But what I thought was it would be helpful to be able to do that in uh, just a simple macro. So let's have a look and see what it does. So uh, we want a before and after document. So I've got my sample one and I've got my sample two. And they've had some changes made to them. So if I run the macro, which I will do from a keystroke, because I'm going to use it several times. So I run the macro, and what it's done is to look and see what documents are open in the computer. And it's offered me three. There is actually a fourth, because I've got my... Just cancel that a second. Um, I've got my switch list there that I use for um, uh, multi-switch. But that the file now begins with ZZ, ZZ switch list, so the macro ignores that. So we run the macro. Uh, it says there are three files there. We, it's sample one and sample two that we want to do the comparisons of. So I type two, three as the uh, selection and say OK. And there's the comparison. OK, so let's have a look at what it's got. Um, various changes there uh, which you can see and uh, if you look at say for example skill there then a U has been deleted and the uh, I has uh, been inserted so if we change one of the options we can uh, make it so that it deals with words this is what they call granularity um, the granularity either at word level or at character level so if we try that, what we have to do, if we, we want 2-3 uh, again, uh, if we say that we want to change the word or character, so we've got W there for word or character, and it just switches it from the default value in the macro, and it changes it over. So it was um, dealing with characters, so if I use W, then this time it will deal with words, so we've got skill as uh, having been replaced from skull. And so that's, that shows the granularity. The, these uh, the settings are in the macro itself at the very beginning here. You've got the granularity there. And we can swap over between those two. The, these are the default values. And then they can be changed by putting ca um, characters into the input when the macro actually runs. So if I want to have my basic one as as a word level, which is probably more sensible, then I can put a an apostrophe in there so that now the default value is word level. So um, if I run it and then put a W in, then it will switch to character level. Uh, so what other ones we've got? We've got formatting, whether it shows the formatting whether it shows uh, white space, that's spaces, tabs and so on, or whether it just ignores them, whether, whether it notices any uh, changes in case, whether it uh, notices changes to tables, and whether it shows moves. Let's, let's uh, have a go of that. Let's show you. Um, let's get rid of the first comparison. That's gone, there we go. So if we do the same again, but this time uh, it's 2, 3. And if we have, we say, uh, S because we want to look at the spaces this time. And M for moves, show the moves. So SM, so what have we got there? So the, the, the change of uh, order of that list there um, has, is now down as a, a move and a, a move insertion there. And we've got lots more um, changes here. Look at all these. These are spaces. Uh, then we've got tabs and par uh, sorry, that's carriage return, isn't it? And then you've got uh, tabs that have been taken out. So there's you know changes that are made in the white space which we didn't see before. Um, I'll leave that there for the moment. Um, 
and show you another one. So uh, let's change the, uh, where are we? Case, that was the one I wanted to do, case and formatting. You can select any set of letters. Let's say case and formatting. I made a mistake there, so let's try it again. Uh, okay, so we want, uh, we've got an extra file in there now, so uh, the two files we want, sample one and sample two, are now three and four. So if I do three and four, and then I say I want uh, case, I want to show the case, and I want to show F uh, for the formatting. Okay, so what have I got this time? Okay, you can see that there's various formatting has been changed, so that's um, that's there and case uh, it has not noticed that I've changed the what was it the me uh, and the you had were in um, yes the thank you and the thank me have changed case but uh, I've made it so that that's the case changes are not noticed okay and the only other thing that I want to just show um, let's just move that out of the way so we've got one two so suppose uh, you don't have to deal with the whole of the document you can just look at say those couple of paragraphs so if I select those two paragraphs and then I go to the other document and select those two paragraphs there and then run the macro then uh, hang on which ones we want we want four and five now so four five okay so it's only shown me the changes to those uh, paragraphs that were selected. So let's get rid of that. Um, so suppose we copy that one, copy those two paragraphs. Um, so if we now uh, create a new document and put the, the just those two paragraphs in there, we've still got over here, we've still got those two selected and here we have got um, just the, a file with those two paragraphs in. So I can now run it again. So this time I'm going to want document 26, which is that one, and this one over here, which was sample one. So if I try, so what's that? So that's um, number four and uh, what was it? Four and five. So four, five. Okay, so that's the changes. Actually, if we do it the other way now, um, oh dear. So if we do run it again, and this time do five four, in other words, that's the oh no, it's we've got another another document in there now. Uh, so it's six and four. So if I do it in the reverse order, six and four, then it's a different. Uh, the, the changes look different um, from the previous one, wherever they are. Um, well, I've lost them now anyway. But by doing uh, the numbers in the reverse order, then the original and the revised version are the opposite way around. Uh, right, that's it. Um, and I hope, that, I hope you found that useful.